Greetings everybody, John Tyre here, and this is a preview for the game Immortal Unchained. It's releasing on September 7th for the PC for $49.99 on Steam. And there's Xbox and PS4 versions announced, but it doesn't look like the, the release date has been finalized for those quite yet. And this game is self-described as an action RPG shooter, which basically means that this game is Dark Souls with guns. And just as a quick summary and a review of just a quick review and summary of this preview build. Um, I don't think this game is as good as Dark Souls, but it is certainly, I think, worth checking out. And I'm excited for the full version of this game because I love Dark Souls and I love this type of combat and this type of action game. But I would be cautious about this full game if you know you don't like Dark Souls or you've never played Dark Souls or you just don't know anything about that series. Um, I like, I, I, I love this type of game, this genre, and there's not that many of them. Um, like The Surge, for example, came out, of, uh, I want to say last April, 2017, and uh, roughly around then, and I enjoyed The Surge a lot, even though it wasn't perfect and it wasn't as good as a Dark Souls game, but I really enjoyed it just because I thought it was an interesting twist on the core mechanics that Dark Souls has done such a good job of, uh, I don't know, I don't know if perfecting is the right word, but like that, that Dark Souls has done such a good job of pioneering over the years. And uh, oh, I know there's a couple more bad guys right here. Um, anyway, um, so let's dive right into the mechanics, which you'll see, like you probably can tell how similar this game is to Dark Souls already. Um, I started the, this video off at an obelisk, which basically functions as a bonfire. It heals you, refills your healing potions, um, refills all your ammo, and lets you level up and swap out weapons and all that kind of stuff. There's also, if you look in the top left, there's, whoa, uh, three familiar bars. Uh, the health is that big red bar. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Um, the blue bar is the magic, or mana or I'm not even sure what it's called in this game which lets you use like charge up attacks like that and then the green bar on the bottom is the dodge meter or the uh, I'm sorry the stamina meter so you can it goes down when you sprint uh, it goes down a little bit more when I melee and when it completely runs out uh, it takes a little bit extra time to recharge um, also you'll see in the top right those are the bits aka souls that I've collected when you kill enemies and you use those to upgrade your weapons and level up your character. So, <laughs> I mean, they, they really did a lot to mimic uh, a lot of the mechanics that, that Dark Souls um, kind of pioneered um, and Demon Souls has pioneered, but you know, it's, it's just such a different environment and the guns just kind of add this new interesting twist that you really haven't they really don't see much with Dark Souls and I, I, I think like I'm just so interested in it because it, I, I just crave Dark Souls it's really my favorite franchise of all time and it's just so interesting to see like a new um, a new developers uh, take on this on this genre so I'm about to get my ass kicked by this boss that's down here that I have not been able to kill yet. And I've he kills me in like one or two shots. And I'm not expecting to make much progress here unless I really, really cheese him, which I might do at the uh, throughout this video just to see if I can kill him and get that recorded. Um, so the game starts off in this giant prison. It kind of reminded me of like Dead Space, uh, a, a lot of the enemies' designs. Um, so you have two different guns. Let's let's see whoops i did not mean to do that i don't even know how to pull up the weapon wheel here we go so you can um you have like a primary gun and a secondary gun um the sniper rifle starts off with very very little ammo and that is one of the interesting things that i'm not sure i really like about this game is that ammo is is at an absolute premium um like there is no way oh those are my bits uh from the last time that i died to this boss um like Ammo is just so scarce that you really, like, you, you can't just run around and just mow enemies down from range. I mean, you kind of 
can a little bit, but you're not going to make a ton of progress just because you're really going to have to use your melee. Oh, and there you go. Got one shot. Um, <laughs> it's just so freaking hard to uh, rely completely on your guns. Um, and now... <sighs> I'm playing with a mouse and keyboard right now, and actually, you know what, I'm going to use a different gun because I don't love that sniper rifle. Um, oh, I'll show off the obelisk uh, options as well. Attributes is basically strength, dexterity, all that kind of stuff. Uh, let's see, I've been putting a bunch of points into agility, which increases my dodge skill. I don't really know specifically what all these different attributes uh, mean. So my 78.8% in dodge, does that mean, like, I don't know if I can go over 100% or what that means, but it seems like there's a lot of iframes, um, invincibility frames when, like, rolling through enemies' attacks and that kind of stuff. So I'm going to change to this uh, assault rifle here, which has the fire damage modifier, and... Uh, when I hit any enemies with that fire, it just kind of damages them over time, which is really nice. Uh, the secondary weapon is... I've scrapped quite a few of them, but um, there are like grenade launchers and that kind of stuff. They have, by default, um, they're either uh, common or uncommon, and then I'm assuming that there's quite a few other... Like, you can see this one has that green kind of accent to it. Um, I'm assuming that there's better tiers than that, but then you can also upgrade these weapons... Uh, let's see, it starts at uh, crude, and then you can upgrade to, um, I think it goes, oh, I forgot the name, is like basic, and then uh, good, and then like, so not, not only is there a rarity level, there's like a quality level to it, and you can add a little bit of damage to like an uncommon weapon. Um, there's also melee weapons that you can choose from. This is probably my best weapon right now. Uh, because it has no ammo and you have so little ammo as it is. Um, the aspects, these are just like passive abilities. Uh, I don't, I only got these two. They're really not that good. Increased reload speed or damage dealt with snipers. Um, and obviously, or it, it looks like there's gonna be like a fast travel system that's gonna unlock eventually. Probably not in this uh, early access demo though. So let's see if I can actually cheese this boss a little bit. Um, so it, there was one boss that I killed, uh, kind of in the tutorial opening area where it was a very traditional Dark Souls style boss arena where they lock you in there and then you really have no escape, no way to kind of like run around and, you know, get an interesting angle or kind of cheese him. But this guy, I think I'm going to be able to actually, oh God, if I can get up this ladder. Now the thing is like... He's got so much health and I have so little ammo that I don't even know if I can cheese him to do enough damage from above to actually uh, be able to kill him. So, whoops. And he is shooting that stuff from range, so I do have to pay attention to make sure that I'm not going to get killed from far away. Um, he's g And then the thing is, like, you'll see there um, when I'm aiming at that enemy over there, there is... Um, my my uh the the crosshairs are not turning red so if i shoot at him i'm actually not doing any damage this guy right there because it's red i shoot him and i will do damage so it's not like you can just pick off enemies from a mile away with these guns like you might imagine uh and just you know make it a complete cakewalk because a little, well because all those guys down below are actually melee kind of suicide enemies <clears throat> so you have to kind of actually get kind of close to him. Uh, now this Amber Monarch has that big ass shield and he's got that weak spot on the back so I'm gonna try to focus on hitting that. Um, just to <laughs> make my energy go a little bit further. Let's see if I can get him with a couple grenades as well. God, he's in a really awkward spot. Oh boy, oh, oh my god, I almost fell off right there. All right, let's see if I can throw a grenade at him. Uh, didn't even do damage to him, it looks like. So, I... This is only the second boss of this demo, and I'm assuming this is the end of the demo. Because uh, there's really not much more after this. But, uh... I would, ass I would hope, assume, that 
the other bosses in the game, you're not going to be able to kind of cheese like this and not have to go toe to toe. But you, you just don't really know. And he just does so much damage to you. <laughs> he just freaking like like you saw before. He he can absolutely one shot you in no time at all. Um, that it, it makes. I don't really mind cheesing him because he's just so much stronger than me that it uh, seems kind of unfair. Even though I have kind of run around and done a little bit of grinding to upgrade my weapons and upgrade my character and get a little bit more health than I probably would normally have at this point in the game. Um, <laughs> there's also a lot of steep cliffs that if you fall off, like in this pool of water right there, that you just die instantly. No swimming or anything like that. So I'm going to try to lure the boss into a easier area to shoot because he is not moving from underneath that thing. Now you can lock on as well um, and it seems like it'll be fairly easy to play with the mouse and keyboard because I mean it's Dark Souls with guns, but it's really not so much about uh, precision aiming the way that you might imagine, like a shooter. So I'm going to try to get behind him and then just put a bunch of bullets into his weak spot on the back. So if you lock on, it kind of immediately aims for center mass, and their weak spots are not necessarily their heads. It's that kind of glowing point in the middle of their back, right? Actually, I'm doing pretty good damage to him as long as I don't get hit. Oh god, I'm stuck in a corner. So as long as I just keep circle strafing around, it looks like I can... Ooh, I stunned him. <clears throat> Do a couple melee swings on him. I'm actually doing pretty well against him right now, and he is not leaving from underneath that arch, which is going to make it difficult to cheese him. Um, heal a little bit, because I have been able to survive some... shots. But it's very difficult. All right. Man, he just is not moving right now. Man, those grenades do like no damage. Uh oh, what damaged me? Oh no. Oh my god. Oh, I think his uh, he's farting some poison clouds or something like that, and that was damaging me. Um. You just gotta be careful with the ammo, because, I mean, I guess this SMG actually has quite a bit of an ammo reserve, but, like you saw with that sniper, I had like 14 rounds after fully reloading, which is just so few. And this is actually the best I've done. It's all about patience, right? Oh man! Damn it! <sighs> one little slip up and he just one shots you like that. God damn. So I'm gonna try this with a sniper rifle. Let's see what the power attack is. Burst of explosive projectiles that deal damage in an area. Well, mm, that's not great for this boss, but the sniper does a ton of damage. Let's make sure I have the right aspect equipped. Damage dealt with sniper rifles. All right, um, so every shot kind of takes about, if I hit him in that weak spot in the back, does about 1 15th of his health. So hopefully I can get him pretty good. I got 14 shots. If, I, <laughs> if every single one hits him in the weak spot, then I'll be doing all right. I'm still gonna need a little bit of luck. Oh my God. I'm just kind of running away from these guys. Hopefully I can get them all to kill themselves without taking any damage. There is friendly fire from these uh, suicide dudes, but they don't seem to do that much damage to the boss. So that doesn't seem like a great strategy either. Um, now it's interesting, like you can only do damage to the enemies when you're aiming at them from range when the reticle is red. 
right? So I'd be able. Well, that guy's gonna die anyway because he's a suicide guy and he fell on the ground. But you're, you're like that guy. He's too far out of range. Oh my god! And now he. Now I can actually hit him because the reticle's red. So you can't just snipe and just pick off everybody from a mile away. You actually have to get close enough to them to get their attention. Oh, that guy's gonna swing. Oh my god. All right. It looks like I've taken care of. Oh my god, dude. Nope, there's still more suicide guys. How many of them are there? Oh boy. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my god. Alright, let's heal. Oh, that's the edge of the cliff right there. <laughs> Don't walk off that. Alright. Alright, I've killed. It looks like most of the suicide guys are taken care of. Now, this guy's ranged attacks are pretty easy to avoid. But. So when he's doing the range attacks, that doesn't really open him up for, uh... Oh boy, that was way too close. Okay, I'm doing some good damage to him. Now I just need to... Oh my god. Get behind him. There we go. Just little hit and run tactics, come on. Oh, Jesus Christ. He just freaking one-shots you so quickly. I ain't a nerve-wracking. All right. Um, all right. I only got five shots left of the sniper. You know what? I'm going to try to cheese him a little bit. See if I can get him down. So, the... Uh, light blue gray bar that's underneath his health bar is like a stagger meter like if you do enough to that he'll kind of get knocked over but I which has been effective on some of the other kind of mini bosses the non-named uh, kind of tanky enemies but uh, I've not found that effective against this guy maybe I'm just using the wrong weapons or something uh, all right I don't think I'm gonna be able to hit his weak spot from above maybe uh, you know what? That's doing a little bit of stagger damage to him with the SMG, and I got a good amount of ammo for it, too. Now, if I jump down, I'll definitely take fall damage, which I do not want to do. Oh, that staggered him! But just for a fraction of a second. Jeez, that was quick. Motherfucker. All right, I'm on full health, so hopefully I can survive a hit if I screw up. Oh my god, that's working him when I hit him in the back like that with the SMG. Maybe I've been doing this wrong. I should have been using... Oh! Ooh. Heal. Heal. Heal, heal, heal. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the best I've done. I staggered him and he still got up so quick. Alright, I'm gonna try to use the power attack. Nope! Oh, where did this retard come from? Oh. Kamikaze. Come on, man. Let's get these zeros out of here. I thought I triggered them all. They kind of spawn from the ground. God, it takes so long to reload this sniper rifle. Come on. There you go. Alright, I'm gonna pop a... Maybe I'll get him with a grenade and I'll get lucky. Eh, I guess that does a little bit of damage. Maybe he was blocking that with his shield. Oh no, that one got him solid and that barely hurt him. Alright. Yes! Woo! He's so close to dead. Okay. Oh, he's staggered. God, he recovers from being staggered so quickly. Defeated! Alright. Whoa. Giant treasure chest? Whoa. Okay. Stability, syringes, bit canisters, scavenger kits, 
Sirium decree they're used to unlock doors. Oh, so that's the kind of key gating system that they have in this game. These Sirium decrees, like some doors will require there, there's a door in this in this demo that requires 30 Sirium decrees to get through. And uh that is a lot of them. I think I have got six or seven at this point. Alright, so I'm gonna heal and move on. This might be the end of the of this demo. Ooh, new aspect. What is this? Oh yeah, so you have to decrypt it. Jungle warriors use their cat-like reflexes to descend from tree traps. Decreases fall damage. Oh, that's not bad. Um, but I think I still want the sniper. Let's level up my dodge skill. Wow, that gave me a ton of uh, bits to level up there. Aspect pattern slot. Oh, nice. Wow, okay, so the next one is going to put me at 100%. Is that right? Uh, 99, 90, 80, 90. Oh, yeah, 99.9. .9. All right, uh, so I need 5,000. Okay. Oh, but I unlocked a second aspect slot. That's kind of cool. Uh, let's do, sure, decrease fall damage. All right, and I got full ammo. Let's move on. So I've explored the rest of this area quite extensively, um, but I just don't know if maybe I am missing something or I have enough serum decrees or whatever to kind of move on to the next zone or what the next challenge is going to be because that boss was like the big hurdle in front of me. Um, try to save ammo where I can by meleeing these guys. That axe is... The melee weapon is very, very strong and uh, is actually going to one-shot quite a few dudes. So this is one of the NPCs that I found running around. I've shed myself. And I had to complete like a series of quests to actually get him to this point. And he said that he was going to help me. I am free. But now all he does is just sit there. I was hoping that doing his quest line, he was going to help me with the boss, but he didn't. Um, like he was stuck in a, in a jail cell and I had to kill all the enemies and then activate that machine that he was standing next to. And, and that set him free, but I don't know if I'm missing something after that. I mean, it, it, again, this game, it's a lot like Dark Souls. It's very cryptic in many ways. And, uh, okay, here's another mini boss. Ooh, he's got a lot of health, more than I realized. Sniper was gonna make short work of him though. Oh, was his friend gonna kill him? Oh boy, oh god, that sniper takes so long to reload. Yeah, I think the friendly fire is gonna kill him, actually. There we go, nice. It's a heal. And there are like treasure chests all over the place that are uh, kind of hidden in new corners. And uh, so, yeah, this is the new area, the Forbidden Forest. And there is a new checkpoint up here. So, th this area is where I first saw that NPC that I was talking to. There are these doors that are currently locked. It, 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 it kind of operates again like Dark Souls, where there will be. Um, You'll run in a big loop and unlock a door that kind of op that functions as a shortcut to make um, traversing the area a lot easier the next time, right? And uh, oh boy, let's see if I can kill this guy quickly. So I staggered him. Uh, sometimes these guys, when you stagger them, I don't know why this guy didn't lose it there, but. You can actually, oh wow, he got me good. Uh, his shield can get destroyed. And, um, but it regenerated relatively quickly, which was odd. Th this game has run incredibly smoothly on, the, on my PC. Uh, I'm using a 1080, GTX 1080. Um, and I mean, just a hell of a graphics card, but, um, 
and you would hope that it wouldn't have any frame rate issues. There's actually, you don't see this in a ton of games. Oh, uh, on the PC, actually, before I show you the graphics settings, one of, you can't pause on this, very much like Dark Souls. How many times have I said this? Very much like Dark Souls, very much like Dark Souls. Every time I do, take a drink, right? Uh, let's see, you go to options, uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. graphics, here we go. Frame rate, uncapped. And they, you know, you can set it 30, 60, whatever you want, or just say, eh, do whatever you want, go crazy. Don't see that too often. And at this point, I really don't know where I'm supposed to go next, because I've killed all these enemies a dozen times already, but... I, uh... I feel like I'm just running in circles, because I've unlocked all of these bonfires, and I just don't know what I'm missing. Um, every time you go to an obelisk, the, uh, all the enemies respawn, take a drink, like Dark Souls, and yeah, that's about it. So anyway, um, thanks for checking out this video. I hope, you know, if you're interested in Dark Souls, that maybe you found a new game that you're interested in. I don't really know. I'm, I'm looking forward to the full game release just because there's not enough Dark Souls-like games out there and I love them uh, and just because of that like I'm very interested in this and yeah when the full game comes out I will be making some more videos for it I'm not sure I mean it's always hard to tell I, I wouldn't recommend pre-ordering they got some pre-order bonuses but just as a rule of thumb don't pre-order it you, when you don't know when you're getting don't give 60 bucks until or 50 bucks until the game has been reviewed right um but anyway i hope you enjoyed this preview hope you uh got something out of it if you're new to the channel be sure to oh i shot the wrong guy hope you learned something hope you entertained anyway thanks for watching and game on